bro's head, bro. Rest and rejuvenate. A non-dominant bro. Wow. Did you find yourself or do you have a, a man in your life or around you that doesn't like to dominate you as a woman? With the rule. This is this is what's out there. Uh, toxic masculinity. Rest and rejuvenate. Maybe this is what you're doing right now. 4 or 9 or 49 can mean something. You could be 49 or this means something to you. But I just feel like right now is what you're doing or what we should be doing. Is just kind of making sure that we stay rested. If you have a platform, maybe uh, you could be pushing yourself. Maybe you're draining your energy or something like that. A shit show mess. So maybe while you're resting and, and just chilling, there's, there's just a shit show going on around you. Everything is crashed. Tell me more about this, please. This rest and rejuvenation. What did I miss? Maybe you're missing something. Maybe you need to sit back and just spend some time by yourself because you're missing something about someone or a situation. Okay. This is definitely either your family Your community. This is heavy drinking too. Somebody needs to take a break from drinking. I feel like there's some people in your community that there's a lot of cops here. So you could be, you could live in a community where there's a lot of drugs and alcohol. Uh, you may need to intake less alcohol and get more rest because for somebody it's messing with your gifts it's messing with your intuition it's messing with your mind go to hospital you go to jail give me some initials for who needs to rest because it's affecting your gifts N or S. G or A. O or V. Hold on a second. Six, five, four, eight, M. Oh, somebody's ass is loose. Somebody may get real loose uh, when they do these drugs. This could be like Molly, G, non governmental organization, charitable organizations renowned worldwide for giving out endless fantas and biscuits in developing countries. What does it mean in slang? Yeah, non-government organization. Not going out. Okay, that's also something. So maybe you need to not go out. For somebody, you could be hanging with people in your community, talking with people around your community. And um, I feel like the, there are some people that have ulterior motive. Big cat. So they could see you as the big cat sentence. There's somebody in your community or some people that are going to get sentenced or there's a sentencing. I also think that you're not speaking with anybody unless they can actually uh, form a, a, a clear sentence. So this could be people that are just not educated or people that just don't want to learn. And I think that this is you. Like, I'm just going to sit here and rest and rejuvenate my spirit because somebody's soul is tired. And, and it's because I think that you're supposed to be resting and staying alone. And this is like self-love, like putting all this love into yourself. Because there are people that just see you as an option. Stop hanging around people who only see you as an option. 
you're supposed to be making a difference in this world how are you supposed to make how are you going to make a difference in this world if you're still hanging with people who like to drain your energy and just treat you like you're a dime a dozen not going out there could be some people that you used to hang with that that are now seeing the blessing that you were in their life because you're not hanging out stepmother not going out okay. maybe you're st just staying in because you're like I just don't the world I didn't realize the world was like this ancestors stepped in with somebody a stepmother I don't know if this is your stepmother or a stepmother it could be of your, your child your grandchild Use your ID or your license to try to get you caught up in illegal shit here. Is this your own stepmother that did this to you? Or someone's stepmother that you're dealing with? God? Tell me the true spirit. Is God relevant here? No. Tell me the true spirit. Is this somebody's stepmother that did this to them? Okay. Who's stepmother? Who needs to know this? That or yeah, who who needs to know about their stepmother? Who, whose mother is this? Let me get first initial Y or T, but that's YouTube as well. You could have a YouTube channel. A or T. F or T. Heavy on the T. T is in all three of these. This is somebody that talks about God, though. This is a Christian. No, I can feel it. I don't understand why this the stepmother would be trying to get their child caught up in illegal shit, though. That's what I don't understand. I guess you, you have a tumultuous relationship with this stepmother for who this is for. She's always plotting on you. Tell me more about this. Use your ID or your license. Or the, the information, like this, this, this is a nasty, wicked stepmother. Aquarius. Either they did this to you, Aquarius, or it's an Aquarius stepmother that did this. Clarify the star, please. Star. Water sign, maybe. Here comes a little bit of money. They could have tried to get you caught up in illegal shit because you have some money coming to you. Somebody's body snatched, that's for damn certain. They could have done this to you if you are a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio male. It could be your stepmother starting to back off now. And punch him in the face. Mm. Change your password. Jesus fucking Christ. That must be security. Okay, can we just get this in Tell me the truth. Are the letters here for someone who needs to change? The letters are here. So if your name begins with Y, T, A, or F, change my fucking password, G. Let's get some more letters of people that need to change their password. I'm guessing it's Google. Tell me, tell me some letters of people, please, that, that need to change their password. Change your password. Who is this for? Please, let me some initials for some people. B or O, Bob, 
Bob could need to change their password. Or someone whose name begins with the letter B, P, or W. Zach, Z, or K. Okay? So change your motherfucking passwords. Uh, or if you use Pendulum, ask your Pendulum if, it, if it's you and you need to change your password. Now, this could be the kind of thing where this is where the ancestors stepped in is during this reading. If you're watching it and your initial popped up that this is them stepping in and saying we're going to use her as a vessel to tell you to change, <laughs> excuse me, your password. Uh, maybe somebody needs to get a spiritual bath. Maybe that's how you gain your spiritual strength. You stay to yourself. You take your spiritual bath. You cleanse your energy. I just feel like somebody's either learning about this or this is just a lifestyle for you. Um, this is how you move now. You're always clearing your energy, making sure that you don't have the ding bats in your energy field. Um, keep, Because, you know, that's, well, that's one of the biggest things. You can take all the spiritual baths that you want, but you're going to be able to feel when you have somebody around you that has negative energy because it's going to affect your mood. It's going to affect how you feel. So just be wary of that. Tell me, tell me more about this situation, please. Can't get out of the hole that they put themselves in. Somebody's stepmother, yo. Wow, okay. Divine Masculine is waking up. I don't know, is this person connected? to a divine masculine. Is this a, a stepmother of a divine masculine? Tell me about this divine masculine is waking up. This could just be like collectively, right? Um, yeah. Waking up to like all the criminal shit, all the shady cons on, the, on this planet. Seven of Swords. Just how many good people versus bad people and how, how off it is. Divine Masculines waking up. I feel like before, uh, Divine Masculines would make impulsive decisions. They didn't put boundaries up. They let everybody in, even if they were thieves. This is, this is the type of dude where they know that they're friends with thieves, and they know that they're lying, and they know that they've stolen from them before, but they have a hard time cutting these friends off. I feel like Divine Masculine, somebody is moving away from all of this shit now. Like, I don't want to be around criminals anymore. Yeah, and I feel like they're happier, they're freer. It's just what happens. You just become more free when you, when you get rid of the luggage called people. And for some of us, we were that luggage for people, right? Cemetery. I don't know what that's about. Resilience. Yep. There's divine masculines that are realizing just how strong that they are. And they're realizing, you know what? I, I guess when you cut toxic people out of your life and you cut people out that can manipulate you and gaslight you people that will come to your home literally and and distract you so that they can steal something right in front of you i just feel like for this divine masculine that i'm picking up on they just allowed themselves to constantly get walked on by the people that were in their life roses Waking up and smelling the roses now, actor to how many people on this planet are phony divine masculine, you're realizing with the artist, this is con artists. I think this is also you realizing that there's not a lot of talent, even in Hollywood, you know, it's, it's like we're all programmed to believe that a lot of these people are super talented and there's other things involved. I mean, where would a lot of these rappers be with that fucking auto tune, okay? <laughs> you try and have some of these people uh, sing, sing a note without auto tune, you tell me how they sound. Now, there are a lot of talented and gifted rappers. Many of them aren't out today, though. I'm going to be honest with you, uh, talent is a rare thing anymore natural talent healer compassion maybe it's like you have compassion i feel like this divine masculine is compassionate you also have the art of healing people or you're realizing this about somebody else near you 
Debbie's a survivor. That could be relevant for you, the name, but I just feel like Divine Masculine is around a female or, or there's somebody that they're connecting to that is a survivor of a lot of shit. You know, maybe they didn't really have a lot of respect for women and what they go through now. There's Divine Masculines that are actually seeing all the shit that women have to go through between childbirth and cramps and getting a period and shit. And there's a reason that the universe chose women to do this shit. It's just a fact. Messiah. This also is uh, Divine Masculines waking up to uh, what God really is. It's an energy. It's an influence. It's not just one. Um, maybe you grew up thinking there was only one Messiah and that, that can't be further from the truth. Messiah is an energy as well. A messiah is a humanitarian energy. Gender reveal. Maybe you're waking up divine masculines to how many dudes are like closet gay. What are they putting in the food? What are we breathing in? Why are they programming men to hate women, to sabotage women, and to want to dress in fucking skirts and, and to change their genders and vice versa? I think that you also were around somebody who was in this Messiah energy, divine masculine. Like somebody who thinks, what would you do without me? Where would you go without me? You'll never be able to, to, to live a happy life without me in it. Is this fool? You could be an Aries or dealing with one, but this is also fool. Um, the matrix fooling people by thinking that there's one Messiah and that's Jesus Christ. No. That's not true. That's not the Messiah. That is not the only son of fucking God. That is not, that whole story is false. So maybe you're waking up to this as well. Like shit just don't make sense. Like why, why? Uh, maybe you're understanding now divine masculine that just how much of the book has been altered and that the important facts have been taken out of the Bible. Be careful just leaving living your life by that book um literally it'll put you in a fucking nasty place fast maybe you're fasting you're eating different maybe you're not as hungry anymore you know maybe you realize that you're actually more on point the less food that you eat it just feels like divine masculines are waking up to something that the feminines already knew but maybe it was too you know you could definitely be the type of dude where don't tell me anything you know what i mean <laughs> I just feel like there's some divine masculines that are realizing that they were their biggest enemies in life. Tell me more. Policy expiring soon. Who's got a life insurance policy now? Whose policy is... is? Let's find out some names on whose policy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's getting hot. Whose policy? Who's this policy on? Tell me who the policy is actually on. Some first initials, please. Who the, there's that Z again. Zach, that keeps coming out, bury, that they want to bury a divine masculine or something? Or you, you masculines are waking up to the shit with these life insurance scams? Is this person who the policies on here became with the letter Z? Yep. Tell me the true spirit. Is this masculine's name Zach? Someone's name is Zach and there's a policy on you. I mean, the true spirit. Does Zach know about this policy? No, I'm guessing not. I mean, the true spirit. There, are there more? All right, let's find out who else. Where you may not have realized that there was a policy for you. R or T. B and O again. Bob. The true spirit is this person's name begin with the letter R. Tell me the true spirit is this person who the policy is this the person that the policy is on? Is someone that your name begins with the letter R? No, tell me the true spirit is this somebody who actually has the policy? Okay, oh boy, was somebody planning on offing you for some insurance money? Divine masculine, tell me the true spirit. I want to ask something personal. This is rich. I'm sorry. This motherfucker got a goddamn policy on somebody. How, how many times? I want to. I want to know how many times I got to expose this person. You. You. Oh God! It makes me sick. 
It does. It makes me fucking sick. This person is such a zero. It's not even funny. Tell me the truth, Spirit. Is, is this a property manager that has a life insurance policy on somebody? Mm -hmm. Tell me the truth, Spirit. Did the police know about this? What's going on here? Tell me the truth, Spirit. Do they need to be watching this person, like, a lot more? Yeah, you guys need to start focusing on fucking um, this property manager. Tell me the truth, Spirit. Is the property manager have a policy on somebody? I don't know. Who, tell me the truth. Does he have a policy on somebody? I don't know who this Zach is. And how they're connected to this person. But they... This... A murderer? I'm telling you, how many times do I have to expose this property manager for being a straight fucking murderer before something gets done? Detective is shocked. I bet... I bet there's a detective and they're about to be even more shocked. Like, not another one, man. Like, how... How, how many times... Do, 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 do we have to expose these landlords and property managers... I don't care if they know judges, you understand? I will destroy the judges. I don't care if they know cops. I'll fucking destroy you too. Something's gonna change with this. It's going to. I feel like at this point, like for a particular property manager, it's like the cops, like they're mad because like, it's almost like they're mad because they know that they didn't do shit with the authority that they had to do right with this situation. They're probably sitting there thinking of all the women they fucking preyed on because they're either misogynist or that there are other women that preyed on fucking women because you're a woman hater because you're jealous or you're just somebody that, I don't know. There's, the, there's no intimidation factor with this property. Mess. There's no, like, I don't understand. So it would have to be that this person has dirt on some of law enforcement. So, um... The detectives and investigators maybe come up with a new tactic on trapping this person, 2222. Um, I don't know. I know you guys know what to do. You've done, been doing this a while for the ones who do it and do it well. But somebody needs to put more focus on this motherfucker because while he is, he's distracting you guys. So maybe he's putting you in directions of... of what he, he wants you to focus on, it's almost like intentionally putting you on a dead end trail. Tell me the true spirit. Is a property manager like distracting the police to look at other people, right? Tell me the true spirit. Should they be looking at other people? This is your biggest problem, this person, for the cops, detective. This person is your biggest, you need to focus on getting this one away. Because okay. this is somebody that would sell all the people out that he was doing dirty shit with. So that should tell you right there, the motherfucker can't be trusted, okay? He has no respect for law enforcement. That is clear. So for the cops that protect this person, this motherfucker don't like you either. So peep game. Tell me more about what this person is up to. Rumors. Maybe people are talking about this. This is also the type of person that likes to start rumors about people. And then this is how this shit would come back. Now you want to start rumors about other people? No? You big dummy motherfuckers. I don't know if this is like the police or this is this person or both. You big dummy. The whole time this person is trying to steer your attention somewhere else. Maybe even creating bullshit that's not even true. And then the whole time, here they are getting policies and people's names thinking that I'm so tired of this person. I really am. I'm fucking tired of this person. Let me get to this spirit. Does this person know somebody that works for an agency? All right, I'm going to find out some shit. I'll be right back. If you guys don't want to do it, I'll fucking do it. You know, I've exposed before this person that works at Prudential. Their name began with the letter K, I think. It was either Keith or Kevin or something like that. But there's somebody that works at a life... I've already exposed this. I've already put their name out there, okay? And, and I'm being told that nothing has happened with this. What's going on? Is are any are anybody getting locked up? Is are there any arrests happening, or are people just still freely walking around with life insurance policies on people? Tell me the true spirit. Are there are there arrests happening? Yes. Okay. Tell me the true spirit. Are the right arrests happening? No. Okay. Yeah. Tell me the true spirit. Does this property manager know somebody that works for an, an insurance agency? Yeah. Tell me the true spirit. Is it nationwide? No. Tell me the truth, Spirit. Is this prudential? I've already exposed this person. 
I don't know how much more I can do in this situation. You need to fucking start arresting people. I don't know. Maybe they're being watched, but I mean, shit. Uh, at one point, you just want to have to trust uh, the uh, psychics. You just want to have to because it feels like you guys can't even trust the people who are supposed to be helping you. Crows and ravens, too many. Yep, death. So, yeah, policy expiring. There's a lot of crows. Maybe you hear a lot of crows when this person is property managers around or pay attention to it. But, but <sighs> prosperity and death. Look at the words I put. Death and prosperity. Okay, this person is very intelligent. I'm not going to say that they're stupid, but they use their intelligence for stupid shit. They're waiting for somebody to pass away so that they can collect a life insurance policy. I don't know who Zach is to this person. It could be a family member. It could be somebody connected to their job. I don't know. Tell me the true spirit. Is Zach a coworker or someone? Yeah, Zach is connected to this this property manager's business or where they work. I just, I just feel like, you know, because I know that there's the detectives and investigators that know about this person, and I know that there's not enough of you. Apparently, you don't have help of just every police officer and every detective because a lot of them are just punks, and they don't want to get involved until it's their child that turns up in a bathtub dead or something like that. So, uh, yeah, nasty bitch. Somebody's a nasty bitch. This could be this property manager. You're not crazy. Mm -hmm. But this person is... just tired of it somebody's got bad credit and they think they're going to fix their credit first of all this person should be in prison this person shouldn't even be getting policies on any is anybody paying attention to like is anybody in this person's account or are, are the feds in this person's shit at all tell me the true spirit is there going to be a paper trail that this person has a policy on somebody mm-hmm Tell me the true spirit. Are they in this person's phone? Why aren't you guys in this person's phone? I want to know. Tell me the true spirit. Should they be in this person's phone? I feel like you guys were. What happened? It's almost like somebody goes, I know that you're a psychopath. And I know that you're nasty. But I'm going to believe when you say that you'll help us now. I feel like, it's like you. please don't tell me that you guys fell for this shit. This is a fucking master manipulator. This property man is a master fucking manipulator. For some reason, the only person he can't manipulate is one bitch, okay? <laughs> so, I don't know. You had to lose everything so you could start over from the ground up. Someone's going to lose everything. But you don't start over off of a life insurance policy, bitch. Somebody's losing everything, and it's because it's your karma, motherfucker. That don't mean, like, yeah, new. Some, it's like, I don't know, a new policy, or, or this is a new tactic, or something. Tell me about this new. What's up with new? Tell me about new. Lie. A new lie. Look, page of swords in reverse. This is a fucking lying sack of shit. If somebody's acting like they're a new person, please don't tell me that. Somebody's a constant liar with the Knight of Wands and the fucking... The peep game on this property manager. Or I'm, I'm going to put my foot down his throat. Tell me the true spirit. Does this person act like they're a new person? And Let me tell you something for the police. Uh, please don't tell me you believe this shit. Tell me the true spirit. Did they actually believe this person? No, well then what's going on? Tell me the truth. Is this property manager a fucking habitual liar? They don't know how to do anything else. Lord, um, yeah, I hope not. Someone's been acting like they're reborn. Is that what this is? Somebody's acting like they're they're um, renewed. There's, it's impossible. This person is a fucking serial killer. They are a misogynist. They are a psychopath. They are a compulsive fucking. If this person says good morning, you got to make sure the sun is up kind of shit. That, that's the kind of liar this person is, 29, 29. Tell me more about this lying sack of shit. Property manager, this, this, yeah, karma, I'm telling you. Look, karma, very manipulative. Yes, somebody thought they were going to have a whole new motherfucking life. Cancer, what is this? Cancer, this is possibly the police. Somebody thought that they were going to have a new life. Look, okay, they lie about this. Uh, they're still they're still in a karmic cycle, possibly with a Gemini or something like that. This is somebody that just tries to, to keep the cops close. I fucking can't stand this person, man. I can't stand this person. Dangerous jealousy. 
meat. You exposed the murder. I mean, what more do you want? With the prop, what, what, what? Did I, who exposed, did, did somebody expose a murder with the property manager? Is that what this is? Tell me the truth, spirit. Are you saying that somebody exposed a murder this property manager was involved in? Yes, okay. Tell me the truth, spirit. Did the police and investigators say, no, that this person had something to do with, with at least the murder you exposed? Yes. Tell me the truth, spirit. Is this person in jail for it? No, I'm done. Do your fucking job or I will do it for you. We're not going nowhere. Fuck.